All right, guys. What's going on? Keen Flamer. Uh, and come on, guys. Uh, I talked about it in part two series, right? So, um, about Magic Radiant and like how it's more fun if you're good at something, right? So, if you're good at water, then you don't have to play land maps only anymore, right? Because you're you're gonna pop off on water. You're gonna win these easy ten minute games. So, I was talking about it a lot in the last video. So, in this part of the beginner series. I was thinking, so let me show a video where I actually uh, play against the AI because I'm going to be pausing uh, the whole time, right, to talk about stuff, why I'm doing certain stuff. So uh, let's do that. So I'll play against the AI. Um, I don't think the AI really fights it back on water, which is kind of a problem. Um, but I'll just show you kind of uh, what my thought process is on these type of maps right um so let's see it so let's make it very easy for you guys let's uh pick chronos and then i will show you guys how to play mediterranean on a very basic level um so i'll be pausing throughout the game and then i'll get my thoughts okay let's just start uh right away So as you can see, I'll be moving my dock or my villager to the dock, to the, to the ocean, right? So what I want to do right now is get the pigs close. So I just actually realized I don't have a pause button on my laptop, so I can't even pause. So this will be kind of hard to talk uh, in deep thought while I play. Um, so let's see. Okay, so basically just pay, pay attention to what I'm doing, right? And um pay attention to what i'm doing so you can actually make uh more than two fishing ships at the start the last one will be at 99 percent but that'll be okay and you can see how i'm gathering from here from the picks to reduce the walking time right and what a lot of players don't know is that you can actually garrison your uh fishing ships if you do not have enough for a citizen, right? And you want to keep shift clicking your oracles uh, to bring them back so you don't run out, right? So now what I need is to make a house and I also need enough wood to make a citizen. So I gathered a wood a little bit too much and you can see I don't have enough food right now. So what do I do? I bring them back, right? And now I will have enough food. I was a little bit too late because I was talking. I needed to move this wood villager to the picks uh, sooner, but this is kind of kind of how you can get more fishing ships out faster as uh, Atlantean. So, what you actually want to do now is move your oracle to their enemy dock. Because you're playing Kronos, right? Um, you're playing Kronos, so you can deconstruct the enemy dock. So this this will give you a very easy win if you're a, a, if you're a beginner, right? Um, and now, because I moved this villager from the tree to the pigs, uh, I have to make another one to wood. So my economy can support uh, villager production and the fishing ships production. So you might ask, how many fishing ships do you want before you advance? So you do need to stop your fishing ships eventually uh, to make a temple, right? You can see how I'm moving the picks closer so my citizens have no walking time. I'm shift clicking from here to here. And now I will make one more fishing ship. And now I want to get. Um, now I want to let these oracles get a little bit more fission so I can make uh, my. So I can make my uh, temple there so I can time shift it there. So you can see I have six fishing ships and I'm going to get her here. And I'm gonna. I was a little bit late because I fucked up the build order a little bit, but it will still be pretty fast. So it will be 334. Now you are just the villagers. So I put two to gold. I sent everything from food to wood. Now I time shift my temple right here. I bring my oracles uh, together. And I would have already, by the way, deconstructed the enemy uh, dock right here, right? So now what you want to do is make a second dock because 
one dog is not enough to make you no know, enough uh, fighting ships, enough uh, biremes. That's what the Latin uh, fight ships are called. So if you want to make a manor, and now shift click on back on the tree, you can see I got my uh, dogs on control group uh, three, my town center on five. I have my adult villager hockey on space. Now I get focus upgrade to increase the hero, hero oracle attack. I cast uh, Valor, make another Promethean. Now I press A for the hotkey of Byreams and I auto queue both dogs and I send them to the enemy. So the next villager will go to gold to make up for the lack of gold that I will have soon because I will be making uh, ships from two dogs. So because you have the focus upgrade, you're actually gonna have more um, attack, which means normally you're, the enemy villagers can uh, can kill your oracles, but because you are have stronger oracles now because of the focus upgrade, it's plus 20 hit points, plus 1.2 hack damage, and uh, faster speed. So you can actually really harass the wood line. And now you will see I need another house because I'm about to be population blocked. And you can see I'm not even looking that much on my ships right now, which I should do if I was playing a real opponent. So you kind of want to just go around here, uh, shift click. And you can also just shift your temple back here. So now I adjusted my gold, so the next one goes to wood. And then I just need to make sure I don't get population blocks, so I have to keep an eye on my population, right? Um, so let's see. So here is a free house I can destroy. And now it's time to make a house very soon, which I don't have. So I might have to cancel one uh, ship and then requeue once I have enough resources again. So here is a little tip, right? Let's say you you are uh, you want to manage your economy right here, right? Then then just pull back your ships a little bit so you can manage your economy and then once you have the APM again available you can move back and then fight again with your ships so while you are doing actions with your uh, economy just move your army back a little bit and this is also the same for land maps just move your army back a little bit and here I go again make another map make another house okay so let's let's say you want the water right now because you're playing against a total beginner and you finally learn how to play water right from this guy. So what you do is you press Control D to select the, the first dock, Control D to select the second dock. Have your cursor ready here to cancel the ships, which this uh, what this does is that it frees up a lot of wood. So you can now take town centers, and let's say you're still fighting water, you can requeue the ships, and you can you basically can make take a town center while you're fighting. So just cancel the ships quickly. Take the town center and then requeue the ships. Okay, so let's say uh, I want to take another town center, which you want to do definitely. Uh, so I move this villager here, I cancel the ships, and now I can make another one. So you can also shift your temple uh, here forward to def to defense your uh, thing. I will say against real players to uh, grab your forward uh, settlement like this one. Uh, so here again, I need some food, right? So I will guarantee some this inside to drop it off. And now I do not have enough yet. So actually, when you want the water, you can send them back to your to your uh, pigs, right? So adjust it, and then you can go again. So you can also make a few more fishing ships. Now I can take this town center. So. Let's say you're playing as a real opponent, right? You actually want to um, actually want to make a little bit of an army first. So make like three former mellows just to, to defend your villager that is taking this town center, right? And then what you want to do now is get the fishing ship upgrade and actually start um, just putting a lot more citizens on food. Like just having these fishing ships out is not enough. To, like what you need to do now is jump heroic ASAP and make a big army ASAP, right? So what you actually want to do is argue all three town centers or almost all three, maybe two and one to gold. Uh, 
and then just get heroic ASAP. So send all your villagers to food and then just make a big army, right? As Kronos, you can actually just make your army, your production facilities at home and then shift them forward like this. And you can also pull back your guys that you were, we were harassing with earlier and pull them back. So if you have one the water, there's no docks left here. I know it feels bad, but maybe like leave a couple of ships here in the corner just to stop any harassment that might be coming your way. But you can delete the rest of your ships to get more population because otherwise uh, you might not be able to make more army on land, which is more important right now. So there's a very thin balance, like how soon should I cancel my ships to take these town centers, right? There's a very thin balance between water and, uh, and land. So you wanna make sure you don't overdo it on one of the other. And honestly, the best players they take their second town centers really, really fast, like one at six minutes or like 6.30, uh, second one at 7.30, and then they'll be so ahead, you won't even know what happened, right? So definitely uh, uh, stop your ships in between uh, and then get the wood and the gold back so you can make the town centers to expand your economy. And after that, you can requeue your ships again and you will uh, probably win water even harder, right? So, right now, how do I get to, a, let's say your opponent got heroic and you are really worried that you're about to get pushed off one of these, one of these TCs and you, you need to be heroic ASAP. What do you do? H, 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 cancel all these villagers, control B, control B, making sure to cancel all your marmillos. And now I have enough food to go heroic, right? Make sure to get your economy upgrades again because you do not you do not start with the economy guild on this map right um so i would say uh this is probably enough for this video right like you guys kind of understand the concept basically it's the same concept for other civilizations first uh, as well i mean so also uh take the town centers in between making ships cancel the ships if you need to take the two town centers uh, then put all the town centers to food because fishing ships economy is not enough alone uh, just to jump ages fast and then you'll be completely fine and you'll probably start winning uh, these Mediterranean maps in ranked uh, from this point on if you follow this guy especially if you play Kronos you're never probably going to lose again on this map unless you unless you, until you start facing uh, tougher opponents which also know how to play this map right um, but this will be a very basic uh, so give a really basic understanding on what to do, right? Um, so I think this will be enough for this video, and I'll uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace out.